Lucy here from the Make Club and today we're making bookshelf ballerinas. Now if you'd like to join in at home, you will need the following. Colouring pens, pipe cleaners, a coffee stirrer, a sticky tab or glue stick, a polystyrene egg or a polystyrene ball, scissors and cupcake cases. Let's dive straight into it. So grab hold of your polystyrene egg and your scissors. This is definitely a job for the grown-ups, so please be really, really careful with your scissors. You're going to open them up and use the blade to puncture a tiny hole at the bottom of your head. Just like that. Now you only want to do a little bit to begin with, and if you need to make it bigger, you can do that later on. Pop your scissors to one side. I've got a bobby pin on the side, and I'm going to use that in the little hole to hold my head freely. And then I can go straight in and decorate with my colouring pens. So you only need to do the front of the face because the back is going to be coloured in with hair. So pop that to the side. Now between all these steps it's probably a better idea to let it dry, however I'm going to keep going as I'm filming for you guys and you don't want to wait forever. Colouring in the hair. Hopefully I'll make this into some sort of magical montage where it's not too boring for you to watch me colour in for 20 minutes. Again, using the bobby pin means that you can twist and turn your head around without getting felt tip all over your hands, which is super duper handy. Okay, let's give myself a bit of a fringe. Otherwise I've got a huge forehead. I've popped her head to one side. I'm going to start working on the body. So I need my coffee stirrer and my pipe cleaner. I'm going to fold my pipe cleaner in half and this is going to become the arms. So I pop it onto my stirring stick and then I wrap it round. Okay, you might be thinking, Lizzie, those arms are humongous. They will get trimmed later on, but it's better to see it on the body. I've pushed the arms upwards, so it's out of the way for now. And then let's go in and make the dress. So you need your cupcake cases at the ready. You're going to take one cupcake case and fold it in half. And then fold it in half again. Then you're going to go in with your scissors. Where are my scissors? There they are. And snip it off at the bottom so that your stick, your stir up, can go straight through the middle, like that. And then it will sit just like that and I'll stick it on using a sticky tab. Perfect, just like that. So I'm using sticky tabs today, as always, because I'm videoing, it's much easier to use a sticky tab than wait for glue to dry, however, if you've only got a glue stick at home, that's perfectly all right. You just might have to be a bit more patient. Take my sticky tab and I'm going to stick it to one side of my baking, my cupcake case. Fold it over like that. So I'm now going to go in and make the skirt. So I grab my second cupcake case and I'm going to fold it just in half, take my scissors and then slice a bigger hole this time at the top and I'll explain why in just a second. Now when I push it onto my stick it should sit nicely and join to the top to create the body of my ballerina and then you guessed it I take my sticky tab and pop it on. So you can see I'm going to go underneath the stick to stick my sticky tab down. There we are. Now that's looking rather lovely as a body isn't it? Okay next job we can now shape our arms into position. Hmm, I think she's going to go for a nice little ballet position so I'm going to create a, uh, arm shape and then I'm going to add a little hand on the end by literally folding it and then twisting it around like that and then I'll just snip off the excess always save it for later because you never know what you need it for and then I can mold it into shape like that and then the same on the other side so let's make sure they're ish the same length they all want wonky arms. The reason that I don't cut the pipe cleaners until they're on the body is so I get an idea of what length you want them to be, otherwise it ends up like you've got a huge dress and very short arms. There you are. Okay, so next thing, we just need to pop on her head. So 
So I take her off my bobby pin and slide her onto the top. She might need a little bit of force, but be very careful that she doesn't explode up top. Okay, so her neck is obviously far too long. So we're going to go in and trim off the stick using your scissors. Oh my goodness, I was cut off her arm. All right. Thankfully. And then we're going to skewer on her head. Just like that. Now finally, just as the pièce de résistance, we're going to pop on her little bun on the top. So I'm going to create that out of a spare bit of scrap pipe cleaner that I have. And a sticky tab, because you know how much I love a sticky tab. Snip off a bit of pipe cleaner. Wrap it into a bun shape. And then I'm just going to cut my sticky tab into shape so that it can sit under the bun quite nicely. I promise you I'm not being sponsored by sticky tabs. I wish I was. Stick on her bun. And that is my bookshelf ballerina. Thank you guys for watching today. If you enjoyed today's activity, please like and subscribe to The Make Club. You can also find me on Instagram at Lizzie underscore club make. Thank you guys for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.